Hi guys. Now, for the pressure in liquid, now let us take our sweet time and let us understand this slowly, guys. Eh? Now, first, if you remember on my first video, I gave you two formulas for liquid, guys. Eh? Now, the first thing that I gave you was the total pressure equals to the atmospheric pressure plus the liquid pressure. Okay, this is what I gave you. And then I explained to you that the liquid pressure that we have over here, guys, eh? the liquid pressure is given to us as H rho G. O rho G H. Either one, guys, just uh, change the placement. Okay, now what I'm going to do is when we are doing the questions later, I will insert the atmospheric pressure because I can I can just give you the value for atmospheric pressure right now, guys, but you might not understand it. I want to explain what atmospheric pressure is to you. But for now, let me just explain what is liquid pressure. So do follow up the videos carefully, guys, for you to understand better. Now, for liquid pressure over here, H rho G, your H basically stands for height. Height or the depth of water. Okay, guys, now, how deep the object is inside water, that is what we call height over here. Oh, how deep that, that, that how big that container is for height or depth. Rho over here, guys, eh? you can see this. Now, R, O, Rho. Rho basically refers to the density of liquid. Okay. Rho refers to the density of liquid. G refers to your gravitational pull. Okay. Now, let us take one simple example and see how we can uh, move from there. Now, one simple example is for an example, guys. Eh? Okay. <clears throat> We have an object, and that object is, is what I've drawn over here. And the distance of the object from the surface of the water, let's just say, is uh, 100 meters. Okay, that's the distance over here of the object from the surface of the water. Now, let's just say my question to you. This is an example, guys. Eh? This is just an example. My question to you is, what is the liquid pressure? Now, <coughs> to calculate the liquid pressure, what I need you to do is, I need to, to use this formula, okay? And also given to you <coughs> that the liquid density, okay, guys, the liquid density over here is 1,000 kilograms per meter cube. This is the liquid density, okay? Now, to calculate the liquid pressure, all right, guys, your formula, H rho G. Your H is given to you as 100. Density is given to you as 1,000. Okay? And gravity is given to you as 10. All right? Now, basically, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, your liquid pressure will be 1 million Pascal. All right, guys. Now, you can clearly see it's that easy to calculate your liquid pressure. Number one, don't forget the formula, H rho G. H is the height or the depth over here of an object or over here, the container. And... Given to you an example, the depth of the object, 100 meters below the surface of water and the density of water or the density of liquid, guys, is over here given to me as 1,000 kilograms per meter cube or per cubic centimeter. And I just use the formula liquid pressure equals to H rho G. My H is 100, the depth, 1,000 is the density. And 10 is the gravitational pull. Times the whole thing, I'll get 1 million Pascal. The unit 
has to be in Pascal or Newtons per meter square. But in this case, Newtons per meter square is also known as Pascal. All right. Now, 